This is the face of tyranny, kids. His name is Sergeant Book with the Claremore, Oklahoma Police Department. He planted evidence on activist Picture Perfect about a year ago. So I decided to board a plane and kidnap James Freeman for a trip north from Dallas to go see for ourselves what was actually going on in Claremore, Oklahoma. Here's a brief highlight reel of the original interaction with Sergeant Book and another officer with activist Picture Perfect. Yes, and this is... Uh, not too bad yourself? Um, you've been there causing a disturbance. I wasn't causing a disturbance. You because they called. That's not my problem. Okay. It, it is now because you're here. How are we doing, sir? Oh, I've had better days, you. Hey, what's going on? Ask her. She thinks she's going to detain me. You are staying here. I told you. You're not What is her name and badge number, sir? Have you been drinking this afternoon? Have you? What is no, her sir, name and badge I number? But I see an alcohol bottle laying right here on the ground, so I'm asking you, have you been drinking? Take it up. Fingerprint it. What? Uh... I am asking you. Question. And I'm refusing to answer. What is your name okay, and badge? No. Or what is her name and now badge I'm number? I'm detaining you because I will make sure you're not intoxicated in public. <laughs> what a bunch of bullshit. What I, is what is your name and badge number? I believe I already told you. What that. is her name and badge number? I, I'm, I'm talking to you right now. All right. All right well, I'm clamming up. What what you is your name and badge number? You haven't been drinking. I want to make sure you haven't been drinking. Uh, please Come give here. me a little space. Come here. Come here. I'm creating I'm space. I'm going to check your eyes. To make sure that you haven't been drinking. No, sir, you're not. Yes, sir, I am. No, sir, you're not. Yes, sir, I no, am. No, you're not. Do me a favor. Keep that right there. I don't care. Keep that right there. See the tip of this pen? How much you had to drink today? How much have you had to drink today? I don't drink. See the tip of this pen? I want to make sure that you're safe to do this. I don't consent to field sobriety tests, especially when there's no. Where you're standing, there's an alcohol bottle? When she stopped me, I was down there. Whenever I showed up, you were standing right there. Congratulations. See where her car's parked? That's where she stopped me. Okay. All right. Which is... Oh, I don't know. What's that? About 60, 70 feet away from that? So what is your name and badge number, ma'am, last time? Or a twister, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Look at that it's whole not area. Move. It's not moving, though. It's not. Yeah. All right. Uh, I don't think that. Oh, my God. I don't think that's a twister, but. <laughs> Holy. I'm going to send it to my buddy who's a storm chaser. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's, it is. It's a. No, it's not. It's a freaking power plant. Oh, cunts. <laughs> Motherless cunts. Oh, man. Holy shit. Stripped us out. Dude, I had such a fucking boner right there, man. <laughs> and it takes a lot for me to get a boner. <sighs> oh, man. How about, How about uh, sweet, tea? sweet tea? I'll take I'll that, take that please. please. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. It's so damn distracting. <laughs> it's just creepy. It's, it's distracting. I can't. It's like and an creepy. echo in the gonna, phone. I'm going to send it to your wife. It's like an echo in the phone when you're trying to talk and you keep echoing in the phone. You're like, fuck. I mean, it's crap. That's tripping me out. All right, kiddos. Johnny Five O with the free man. And uh, we are here at Claremore Post Office in the beautiful, sunny city of Claremore. Okie dokie. 
we're going to do a quick uh, scan of our surroundings because Claremore PD is very fond of evidence planting. Do we, uh, I don't know what Picture Perfect looks like, but he sounds like a normal looking guy. <laughs> he certainly doesn't look as alarming. I think those were the words. Above average. I'm good. No, thank you. Picture Perfect taught them that cameras are no, not scary. They're no longer scary. Because they were scary when Picture Perfect was here, right? Yeah. A alarming. Uh, alarming. I, I think was... There were several good adjectives. I'm probably not um, getting them all. But... We're not from here. Nobody gets to see the beard right now. It's disgraceful. Nobody gets to see it. Is that him? In the jeans? Huh? Is that Northern Colorado Honor? Let's go inside. Yeah, they're waiting for us. The piggy's talking right over here. Hi, is Sergeant Book here, please? All right, and let me see if he's on duty today. Can you sure. hold on? Sure. Right. And we're trying to look up some information while we wait. Right with you? Great, thank you. Thank you. All right, so Sergeant Book is coming out, guys. So tell people to uh, remind you of this. Okay. So guys, uh, when he comes out, if you could remind me of this. 51-93 official misconduct um, that's the Oklahoma statute um, that uh, we want him hey guys have you been helped no not yet what can we do for you we're looking uh, for sergeant book yeah. he is not here not here she said he was here so go uh, he shipped us we'll get until 2 p.m. oh okay um, what's her name captain literal captain literal um, we uh, wanted to see if you would uh, if you would uh, go ahead and charge him. Um, charge him for official misconduct. Um, Possible evidence uh, t tampering. Okay. Planting. Uh, guys, I'll tell you that's being handled internally. Okay. Uh, so, so you want to speak to the looking, chief or the deputy chief? Yeah. They're not here at the moment. Okay. We're looking for it to be handled criminally the way it would with any other citizen. You know what I mean? Okay. Because at uh, 53, I'm sorry, 51-93, we, we want him cited and charged on 51-93 official misconduct um, for his actions. And so we believe that we brought sufficient evidence to charge him with this crime, and we are seeking... You brought your, something with you? We brought, yeah, we brought a, a lot of evidence, and we're just looking for somebody... Yeah, you, you got it with you today? Yeah, it's video evidence. Yeah. Okay. All right. And so we're we're seeking either one of his fellow officers, or if, if you guys aren't willing to do it, we could call the sheriff's department. If they're not willing to do it, you know, maybe we're happy police. to put him under a private person's arrest. So I mean, whatever needs to be done, but we'll, we'll show you that we're not saying that he's guilty. That's up to a jury. But we are saying that we have sufficient evidence for him to be charged under fifty one ninety three. Okay. Well, so. I'll tell you what, you guys, if you want to speak to uh, <clears throat> deputy chief, you can proceed for a minute. Uh, you're welcome to sit here all day if you want. Somebody be back with you in just a minute. Will they, will they really know? Because I, I mean, we're someone will be back with us in a minute. Sure. Okay. Sure. I just 
Yep. Is, is I, he, I've, is, heard, I've heard that before and three hours later, you know what I mean? Okay. So just, is he I'll the, be honest with you, you be honest with me and, and you know. Okay. Is he the highest ranking officer currently on site? The deputy chief? Yeah. Yes. Is, yes the chief's not here? No, he's not. Is the chief aware of any of this incidents that took place? Sure he is. Okay. So we, yeah, you, you, under, you can understand where um, we don't feel a whole level of confidence of you guys investigating yourselves. Internally. You, you, internally. You see where that, with no accountability, no public accountability, you see where that, see that's, no, you see no. the look on his he, face? He, that he, was he, the disconnect he, between he, police and society, everybody. Right. Yeah, that, yeah, he doesn't Maybe get it. Maybe he's been helped. Ma'am, have you been helped? I'm letting He doesn't get yeah. it. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to tell you, I'm sure you can't understand it, but we're not looking to hang or crucify somebody. We're looking to charge him criminally the same as any other person would be charged. Equal accountability under the law. Okay. That's all we're here for. We will get it. Um, we, so, you know, okay. the, the, the easier you make it, the easier it'll be on you guys. Yeah. Okay. Well, like I said, you guys are welcome to sit here. We'll be back with you in a minute. Okay. Thanks. Uh, we can do it the easy way or the hard way, right? Okay. Don't resist. <clears throat> Boy, the look in his eyes when I, but that, that is 100% of the disconnect between police and society, that we do not feel comfortable with your own private, non-publicly accountable investigation of one of your own. I mean, that, that, the ridiculousness of that statement is. You know, if, that, if that's how it goes, then um, why don't we get to investigate people like Poetic? Why is he in their court? Right. Why didn't we get to investigate him? Right. Okay. Amongst his peers. Right. A what? Complaint form? Yeah. Criminal complaint form, right? Okay. It's a citizen's complaint form, yes, sir. It's a criminal complaint form? It's a citizen's complaint form. Citizens? So is this the same thing that I would fill out if, say, my neighbor punched me in the face? Yeah. And I, okay, that's kind of what we need then. Yeah. yeah. We're looking for criminal charges? This is, we, we've already... Our, been told that this is basically bogus. This isn't, we're looking for criminal charges. Okay, here's what we got. This is our Claymore Citizen complaint form. If um, you guys have a complaint about an officer's conduct, you can fill one of these out. You can take it with you and fill it out. You can fill that out here. Right, okay. Do it. But like we told you, under 51.93, he has committed a crime. So we're not looking for a citizen complaint form. We're looking for him to be charged for a crime. And that's your job. That is your duty. That is okay. what you see. I, I can you, tell you the chief has already opened a professional no, no. standards investigation? Okay, that's not what we're looking for. I think you misunderstood. Okay. Under 51.93, he has committed, we believe that he has committed a crime and we have sufficient evidence to support that. And we're telling you that we want him cited for a crime. You can do that. You can keep doing your internal uh, investigation. That's fine. On top of that, he needs to be cited for the crime and have it go before a jury where he can plead his case. Like I said, we're not saying he's guilty. We're saying we have evidence that, that we believe will go before a jury. And, and Well, I will tell you that Anytime a citizen does come and make a complaint and we begin an investigation, if that leads us to where the officer has committed a crime, then we do. We forward that to the district attorney's office and let them When you guys them. investigate yourselves? Yeah. Not part? Also, you said the deputy chief was going to be coming out. Is that still on the table or? or? Well, he's in the building, but um, I'm talking well, well, you, you right are, are you Are you reneging on your deal that the mm -hmm. deputy chief is going to come out and speak with us? Oh, if you guys want to speak to him, we can, I can. Well, I, I, we were under the impression that he was already coming out. So okay. what's, I feel well, like I'm being lied to. No, well, the problem, too, is that piece of paper right there is an attempt at pretending that they're doing something. We know dang well that, that that's nothing. We are so, here, you, so you guys are not interested in this? We're, we're here for a criminal complaint. Okay, that's, so you guys are not interested in this? Uh, no, not at all. Okay. That's not a criminal complaint, right? That's not a criminal complaint, right? We told you what we need. We need him charged under 51-93. Okay, and like I explained to you, this is a process if an officer- right, You go ahead, let's let's cut through, let's just cut through the BS and just let me know. Are you going to charge him or do we need to call uh, somebody who's willing- Sheriff's to Department, uh, State You're Police. You're willing to yes or no? The answer is yes or no. Are you willing to charge him? Yes or no? Do we, do we need to go up? Yes or no? Yes or no? Is, it's when a yes or no. Today? It's a yes or no. You said today. Today is not yes or no. You got no. another in Yes or no. Are you willing uh, to charge him or are you not? You guys have good time. Are you willing? Okay, I'll assume that that's a no. See, you don't seem to understand so, how this works. You work for us. You, you, you are supposed to uphold the law for us. Call the sheriff. 
All right, guys, we're, we're going to get the sheriff on the phone. Uh, Sergeant Book, his shift starts in about a half an hour. You know, this is the runaround. This, guys, this is why we, we talk to police this way. I, maybe you guys haven't done this stuff, and so you don't realize the runaround that he's giving us, because he gave us a piece of paper, so it looks like it's official, right? Oh, great, thank you for caring about what we're uh, here for. Guys, it's total BS. It's, it's a piece of paper to make it look like what they're doing is official and real. It's not. That piece of paper is as good as toilet paper. Hi, we need the deputy chief to the police lobby, please. Thank you. So he's a liar about the deputy chief coming out as well. So we're going to... You can't answer a simple Some, yes or no Say question. again? Yes. We're, we're not here yeah, I'm in the lobby. For hours, guys. We're here to get business done and go home. We'll go over their heads. We're happy to. We're, 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 we're good at this. So we're happy to escalate this. You guys will be making a grave error if you don't handle this here today with us, I, I assure you. I can tell you this, it'll be we're, misconduct yeah. on every officer. We'll call the city manager, we'll, with the, the, yeah, just, you, you might want to uh, get this story handled today and, and not One Gilman, blow us off. So, sorry, yeah, we're here in the lobby, thanks. Sergeant Blue. And we're not saying he did commit a crime, we're saying we have evidence that we believe he committed a crime and we're asking for him to be charged so that he can go before a jury. start looking at all the personal vehicles for contraband as well. So, uh, wait, get, just get here, focus in on me. So here's the deal, folks. You want us, you want us to make us wait for the deputy chief? We're going to be busy in the meantime, going through, scouring through everybody's personal vehicles in the parking lot. Whoops, that backfired. There we go. There we go. So it appears as if we're going to need to go over their heads and uh... Well, I, I have no doubt we'll need to call the sheriff out here. Okay. Hey, can we search through your car real quick? This is my personal car. Great. No, you got have anything asking, to hide? We're just asking for permission to search it. Yeah. This is my personal car. Oh, I know, asking, we understand that. We understand any, that. We're asking for permission. Do you have in there? Do you have something to hide? You should just comply. It'll be a, a lot uh, easier. We found an alcohol bottle down the street there, and so we have reason to believe that you might be drinking. Yeah. Would you submit to a field sobriety test? Sure. Yeah? You sure. would? Come on over here. Follow the tip of my dick with your eye. What do you have to hide? What do you have in there that you're so uh, that you're so paranoid about us finding? Needles? Do you have any burner guns? You guys have an evidence room. Do you have an evidence planting room? Yeah. I'd like to check that out. Yeah. It's probably right next door. Oh, safety begins here. Tyranny begins here. Yep. They spelled tyranny wrong. You like that? <laughs> Guys don't even know how to spell. They spell tyranny wrong. Oh, uh, look, 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 look. Somebody's been huffing. Uh oh, there it is. 
There's somebody's been huffing. Tell me what you want. There's the contraband. And a lighter. I mean, Are you kidding me, dude? Huh. Everybody, oh, wow. That's his. Just... Hey, everybody, we're going to fire up the grill. Yep. And on, guys. so, we're going to have a barbecue. Uh, you guys, if you guys want to text in your orders, uh, burger, cheeseburger, double cheeseburger, raw onions, cooked onions, hot dogs. We don't do any cook temperatures, though, so we're not getting into the minutia, medium rare. Medium, no. You're getting a burger and you're going to like it. I want a hamburger, no, a cheeseburger. I want a hot dog, I want a milkshake, I want potatoes. You'll get nothing and like it. Okay, so. Pork, open dialogue in initiative says pork. The other white meat. I'm a big fan of, oh man, pork ribs are my favorite. And Oklahoma style is, is my favorite pork ribs. Basically, just right, we're gonna go. in uh, brown sugar. Absolutely oh, no there smoking is. within 20 seconds. He's sneaking minutes. around. He's being sneaky. What's going on? What's up? We're looking for the deputy chief. Deputy. That's me. It is? Okay. What's your name? Steve Cox. Steve Cox, great. Uh, we have video evidence. Uh, Can we back over here, though. This, this sure. We want to stay out of the rain, this though. Is not, this is not public right here. Actually, it sure does. Oh, it doesn't actually say that it's not. Let's back up. We'll talk all day long. I'm not trying to put you in the rain. You stand right there. You're out of it. Um, great. So we, we have video evidence that uh, um, um, we're not saying that he's guilty, but we're saying that he needs to be charged and go before a jury. And so we're asking you to do that. At this point, I mean, I, I, we kind of get the idea that you're not going to do it. Well, we already started an investigation. We. Uh, I talked to the guy, uh, probably your fellow friend. We've uh, interviewed him. Uh, we'll continue to investigate. We have not found any wrongdoing. Oh, of uh, course you haven't. And that's why we'll. So but and here's what I'm going to tell you, though. I, I'll give you your, your recourse. If you guys do want recourse, please call the FBI. They they do civil rights. We cannot. We don't do civil rights violations. Okay. Um, or even well, you, civil. How about well, you, conduct? How about 51? Uh, you commit civil rights violations. You yeah. just don't investigate them. Is that. I mean, you guys sworn off yeah, to the. Did you? But you can't. You can't uphold it. Which part are you talking about? The civil rights. I mean, it, you, you can't. We're going to continue to investigate that, but the FBI yeah. does. Well, you just said that there was already. You guys already found that there was yeah. no misconduct. Through right. our part, yes. Yeah. There's no. Okay. So the investigation is done, and there's no. no. Okay. How about how about uh, uh, official misconduct? We're continuing to investigate. You're so, okay. Are, are you, you're familiar with the so video in question? So we need to arrest him. Is what you're saying? We need to. Look, uh, like sure. I said, like I said, we're not saying he's guilty. The problem is that you guys investigated him yourselves. No jury investigated it. No jury got. That's why I'm giving you your recourse to get that done. Okay. Well, yeah. we're, we're going to call the sheriff then to have him come out okay. and, and arrest him. And if that doesn't work, then um, worst case scenario, we'll have to get some people to come out and do it. But what I do want to tell you guys, you're interrupting me. Though. You're interrupting me. So, it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. it doesn't matter. We're, we're, but, yeah, but it listen. does fucking matter because you work for us. Do you understand? Yeah. And you're interrupting. Okay. All right. I we're trying to tell you what to do. And you're not going to say when we have victims in here, you cannot shoot through that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we sure can. can. No sign that says we can. no, sure can. The eyes can't you trespass. The eyes cannot trespass. You want to try that in court too? What, what, what penal code is that? Uh, what penal code is that? Okay. It's not a penal code. It's not, it's not a There's no penal code, so it's okay. just what you want. This eyes can't trespass. Street. There is a sign. Eyes can't it trespass. Doesn't matter, that means people can't drive through here. Okay. Regular traffic, you can't drive just through here. Just don't get in my back window. You guys really respect my victim. That's all. So, so it took. So let's respect the victim. So let me ask. You mean you mean victims that you bring in? Yes. Just like, respect that. Like victims that you victimized. Like the lady that was in the front that had to get wheeled out of here? Just respect that. You can do... It's a public lobby, sir. Yes or no? Us. Yes or no, is that a public lobby? So, so you're saying... Yeah, you can. Just okay. please respect it. I didn't tell you you couldn't be there. Please respect it. So you're... you're there's did, a difference. She didn't ask us not to film her. You're interrupting me and then asking me to be respectful to you? Sir, you have... What is wrong with you? Nothing, sir. Yeah, a lot. You, well, you, you, you don't understand who you work for. You think you can do whatever you want. You have no respect here's your for law and order. Sergeant Bob will not be arrested today. Okay. okay. Not by you, but by somebody. So if you guys have any recourse, please contact the FBI. They do investigate civil rights. Once again, what's or your name? Or you can Mine? Yeah. Deputy Chief Cox. Deputy Chief Cox? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh wow! So it's so. Let me ask. So it took uh, our putting cameras in the back window in order for you to come and talk to us. I did video with other things. If you, uh, want, to, if you want to test in court whether we can put video uh, cameras in the back window, we'll do that. Yeah. You can't trespass would, the eyes, sir. Love for you to arrest me for you that. You cannot trespass the eyes, sir. You're already in deep enough. Let's keep going. Don't dig yourself deeper. So I'm talking to the wall now. But it, it's not civil. It's official misconduct. We had to escalate things in order for the chief of police to come out because he's busy uh, is violating civil rights in the back. This is a very dangerous. If you're thing. not pissed right now, you're not you're not paying attention. Yeah, no kidding. Well, he's probably still drunk from last night. So. How you doing, sir? Good. You mind if we do a quick search of your vehicle? Make it, make it quick. No, I mean an actual search. Like, you have anything to hide? Then why, why don't you consent to a search, sir? Yeah, if you got nothing to hide, It'll just take a second. I'll just consent. We'll bring the dog out. That's fine. All right, Johnny Five O with James Freeman. We're here in city of Clarebar. Rogers County Courthouse. <coughs> Still getting over that TB. Hey, um, can we get the sheriff out here? I'm not sure the sheriff's in right now. You want to go down to the office? I can, I can help you. Okay. I'm Major Jenkins. Agent Jenkins, I'm James. James, I'm how just, are you? Good. Hey, um, oh. Yeah, watch that. So we are, we are, uh, trying to get a, uh, police officer, um, uh, with Claremore Police Department charged for a suspected crime that we have evidence of. Okay. Uh, the Claremore Police don't want to charge him. We're not asking, we're not saying he's guilty, but we have evidence that uh, we believe can go before a jury um, to convict him of the crime. So all we're asking is that he be charged just like any other human being in a lawful society so that he can go and plead his case to the jury. Um, the police department said, oh, well, they've investigated themselves. That, that's a problem, right? Could you imagine if you thought I committed a crime and, and I had my wife investigate me? It's gotta go before a jury. That's the only fair way to do it. So we're looking for the sheriff. So the, the, the normal protocol on that, James, would be that, that you guys would contact that department, that particular agency. We have. We've yeah. done that route already. So, uh, and, and you, you uh, follow the complaint, I suppose? Uh, that's, that's not actually the route that we need to go. That would, uh, that would be to um, basically have a mark put on his personal record or, or his oh, personnel you. record. And that's not what we're looking for. We're, we're looking for equal accountability under the law. The law. If we're going to live in a lawful society, we all have to be accountable to the same laws, right? Well, Do we or no? No? No, I think that's very important. Okay, to be accountable under the same laws? Oh, Everybody? Yes. Okay, well, yes. that's, that's what we're here for. So is there any reason that a police always wind up investigating themselves with no public oversight? You know, there's a lot of different reasons, uh, really, uh, why different agencies have different protocol on how they investigate well, uh, no, they, they actually all, all of them do nationwide from local, city, state, but, okay. federal. And, and, and what winds up happening is it, we, there is a, uh, quite a great distrust between society and, and police of their own accountability as a result. And, and Would you, that the police are corporations, right? They literally are corporations. Uh, at least where the state that I come from, they're set up as corporations. Um, and uh, they're often deputized by the local sheriff, and uh, at least this is where I come from. I don't know about uh, Oklahoma. Um, they're deputized by the sheriff, and then they also have a city council who, who writes ordinances, and they aren't even lawful legislators. But the point is, they're, they're a corporation, and so their protocols are company policy. What we're talking about is law. We're not looking for company policy to, for them to be investigated by their company. Sure, they broke company rules, but besides that, they broke our laws, the people's laws. They broke my laws, they broke his laws. And and we are trying to charge them under the law, not under co corporate policy. And so so James, let me let me ask ask you, what do you what do you propose? What do you think would be the correct way to um, do that? We just want him charged under uh, 
guys, can you can you pull the charge up for me again? I think it's uh, 51-93, which is just official misconduct. We believe that he planted evidence on a crime scene. We have scene. we have video we have video evidence. And, of and that. so we're not even at. I mean. Um, I don't think he's a flight risk. I don't see any reason to book him into jail, but right. cite and release. And, right. and let him go before a jury just like any other man would. Um, that we have evidence, that, that su substantial evidence, that we believe a jury would convict him on. But it's not up to us to say he's guilty. We just want him cited. We want the charges given to him. Um, and get his court date. And let him go and defend himself um, in a fair trial. That's what we want. And, and, Fellas, un under the due process of the law, would you not uh, check with with a particular uh, district attorney's office in that particular jurisdiction? So you're saying if we you, need, if, well, if, if, the case if, you, would if go, you had a concern about something like that? So the case would go to the DA after you charge him, right? You would charge him. You would cite him for it, right? And the case would be forwarded to the DA. I'm not a police officer. I'm not used to doing this. I haven't arrested very many anyone before. This will be the first person that I arrest if if somebody else can't do it for me. Um, so we're asking some, they, for some reason they think that they respect police authority. They don't realize that we gave them the authority they have, and so we have that same authority. That's how you guys got it, right? Because we gave it to you. Um, yes, you the, the reason we want one of you guys and, to do it is because it's dangerous for us to do know, I want you to know that, that, that I don't take that <laughs> responsibility lightly. Okay. I really don't. And that's why, you know, I do feel very obligated to discuss this with you guys. Well, we, and we appreciate it. I just, yeah. Wonder, yeah, we I just wonder, though, uh, if maybe in this situation uh, it would be um, well, this, simply contacting uh, the Attorney General's office, okay. the State Attorney General's office. Okay. Uh, just okay. so that I can get a better idea how this kind of works. Like, say you were to cite a citizen, do you call the Attorney General or the DA first, or do you just kind of take the evidence and say, you know what, I, based on my knowledge of the law, I believe this person committed a crime, I'm going to go ahead and cite them and then forward it to the DA. Or do you call the DA and Attorney General first and say, hey, this is what I think no. happened, uh, should I cite no. him or not? No. Uh, in that particular case, as you guys are well aware, we would have to have uh, articulable facts and circumstances right. to establish probable cause. Right. And then... Uh, so if we can show that, that would, to you... That, that would be submitted to the District Attorney's Office. So do what? So if we could show you this uh, footage that would give you probable cause and reason to believe that he's committed this crime, would that be an, enough for you well, to... Well, I'll tell you, James, <clears throat> in any kind of a situation, you know, if the public uh, feels, you know, that there has been a violation of the law, uh, we have an obligation in law enforcement to look at that. Yeah. yeah. So, in, in a real way, though, in a violation of law. And the problem is, like I said, they're trying to look at it from a corporate standpoint. And we were just at the PD where the Deputy Chief Cox said that they've investigated it and they found no wrongdoing. Internally. Right. Internally. And like I said, though, that's the corporate but, but, investigation. But there's, but there's no public oversight the here. So, all right. Um, and, and we want a different agency to go. And so we are that different agency. You know, like I said, we're not trying to have him hung or crucified. We're trying to have him go get a fair trial by a jury of his peers. Okay. So you're saying I need to go to a DA and find a DA that's going to prosecute, that's willing to charge and prosecute this, or let me, not, let me let me do this. Let me do this. Let me let me determine that and come back. Okay. And advise you guys. All right. But Fair the, enough. But you, need to, you need to look at the that? case and the facts first, right? No, not necessarily. I mean, what I want to do is uh, based on your inquiry of me. Mm -hmm. You're asking me. You, you know what would be the next protocol? Uh, let me let me determine that okay. and come back and let you guys. Okay. Know. But this is all, but but you can see though how when they investigate themselves and they find no wrongdoing, despite public seeing evidence of to the contrary. There's a lot of people upset about this. But there's, 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 but there's that almost, there's but that there's a disconnect between police and society as a result. Which, and that's where the mistrust comes listen, from. Listen, the police don't want that. Society doesn't want that. But there's a disconnect between police and society as a result of this, we've investigated ourselves, we found we did nothing wrong. Well, there's an oversight. No, no, there is. There is. You know, our judicial system does have an oversight on that. Let me, let, let me determine okay. for you guys okay. in our particular jurisdiction Great. what that oversight Tell me your name again. 
Uh, Major Coy hey. Jenkins. Coy Jenkins, great. Coy Jenkins. You have been Thank very you. professional with us, and we Thank really you. appreciate that. And Thank you. Uh, and a lot of people there's say that we're provocateurs and we're this and that, we're out I to bait No, I don't, we are I, here I, to... I, I don't feel that way. I, I really don't. I think it's real important that we have individuals like you that, that uh, address all, these situations involving our rights. Yeah, we, we all want a lawful society. If we yes. don't have law and order, we have... Yes, we do. Total Thank disorder. Well, we, and that's kind of the, I, I feel like that's the point where we're getting to real quick. Yeah. And that's why we're here. Yeah. We got to well, slam the brakes on. Well, I applaud what you guys are doing. Thank you. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. We're, and like I said, we, we, and we will happy to paint you in a, a positive light because you've been nothing you but a, yourself in a yeah, positive light. Exactly. You don't have to do that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we don't do yeah. anything. Thank you very we, much. We provide the platform. You do what you want to do. Right. It's a and stage and a spotlight and what, what you do with it. There's and please don't understand. Watching you right now. Please don't understand that. Well, if you guys, if you, if you, if you guys want to take the time, you know, to look at something like this, you yeah. know, I have an obligation. Yeah, we definitely I, want to I, assist you. In I that. flew in from Los Angeles for this story. We both did. did you really? Yeah. It's yeah. not seriously. I, I, but just seriously. That's good, guys. That's good. We, 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 had a, we had a citizen journalist in front of the post office, and all of a sudden, a, a, a little uh, airplane bottle of alcohol magically appeared. There was video prior. There was no bottle. And he all had gone through there with his camera multiple times. Right, just by accident. Uncut but it, footage. But it, um, and magically, something but appeared. magically it appeared, and Sergeant Book then started a field sobriety. That became his RAS at that point, that he was now drunk in public, was now the crime. And uh, because right. there was no crime, but, right? So but, to but my understanding is based on <coughs> on this situation that you guys are describing. You brought it to the attention of the agency. Oh yes, correct. Did. That was the first okay. place we went to. We've been yeah. down there. For, okay. We were over there for over an hour. We brought the charges to them. Um, we we told them what we wanted them charged with and how the you know the it, evidence that well, we believed was, got a little bit of a run around. And, and they yeah they they well, gave us the run around. And, and then basically in less words they told us to screw off. Right. Okay. We've investigated ourselves. We don't. Well, I want to say, I want, first thing I want to do is I want to apologize for any inconvenience that you guys have had because you've spent a lot of time and effort, obviously, on this. Yeah. So, with that, let me. Uh, Great. Let Let me see what uh, what I can do to assist you guys on uh, okay. on your venture okay. to try to uh, determine what would be the next protocol on this. Okay. Great. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank I'll, you. Thank I'll, I'll you. Return here in just a okay. okay. Thanks. Okay. So, when we last talked, you wanted me to check and find out. Uh, as I, as I understood it, you had a complaint about an officer. You felt an officer had violated the law. Right. right. You brought it to the attention of the agency. Right. And uh, felt like you didn't get any satisfaction. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, what I've done is I've looked into this. Okay. In the state of Oklahoma, one agency, like the government agency, like our sheriff's office, would not investigate a complaint on another uh, law enforcement agency. That would be handled either by the attorney general's office or the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation. And what I've done is I've pulled both of those phone numbers for you okay. so that you guys can contact them. Great. Great. Cool. Good enough? Yeah. Here? Thank you. Thank yes. you. Thank you very much. Thanks for being professional. Thanks for being a, a human being, uh, which, which well, I appreciate is, you, is not. I appreciate it. you guys too. Yeah. 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 But, We're gonna keep at it. Good. You know, if we can flush out bad cops, then it makes it safer for everybody, including the good. You know, that's what it's all about. It's about law and order, and that's not where we're at right now, right? That's what it's yeah. all about. So. We yeah. appreciate you Thank guys. you very much. Thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate you guys Thank you. coming out to Oklahoma. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you very much. Your trip. All right. You've got my Thank card. You. If you need anything else, if there's anything else great. I can do to help you, okay. you know, I've got my number there and everything. Great. Okay? Great, great. Thank you very great. much. Thank you. We we'll appreciate it. Um, I'll get a shot. Yeah. Flip it over. <clears throat> Now, like I said, I don't understand all of the way that the laws work. Out here comes this. Here comes a state trooper. I do know, though, that in the state of Texas, um, uh, essentially the, the PDs are deputized. Um, they're deputized by uh, the sheriff.
sheriff. Which means that they're the ones who essentially gave them their authority. Which we gave to the sheriff. So, anyway. Um, guys, thanks for jumping on the live stream. Uh, I think we're done here. I'm going to go ahead and just end it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks yeah. for any of the people that chose to uh, step up and donate a few bucks. We appreciate it. Um, Close my hands. Respect from Indiana, brother. All right, guys, thanks for jumping on. Thanks for being here with us. I think it was a, a pretty decent dialogue there. Um, we are going to keep following up with this. We're, we're not done. We're not done for the day. Yep. All right, guys, we'll see you later. You got time for a nap. Yeah. Listen, even that guy was totally playing for the cameras. Right. Which... Still... Then play, like, he gave us actual information, though, too. Yeah. He was just like, it's just not that difficult. YouTube, thanks so much for watching this video. Leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, drop a like. Appreciate everybody's support. You guys are amazing. Thanks for bringing me this far. I'm humbled by all of your support. Love all you guys. Except that one guy.